next we are going to see about breakouts uh, meetings are least productive uh, when only one person uh, talks and everyone else does listening uh, but doing nothing uh, or taking notes in general people's creativity is inhibited in groups larger than five the felicitator can ask the group uh, from small uh, discussions to address a particular question and then have them report back their uh, conclusions uh, by a subgroup uh, by a subgroup uh, another approach is also is there to a uh, quick generation a yeah, list of topics or con uh, or concerns and then have each breakout uh, take one problem to solve as a subgroup before briefing the general sessions let's see the next one flip charts uh, unlike a computer or a whiteboard uh, flip charts give a group unlimited space for creativity when a page of a flip uh, chart is filed it is moved and tapped to a nearby wall uh, flip charts are uh, group notes uh, people do not need to be taking their own notes they can have their heads up and uh, be fully engaged with the meeting or in the meeting uh, flip flops are also highly portable and unlike uh, whiteboards next time management uh, actually if you uh, plan an agenda uh, plan the time of each meeting topic and stick on to it or ask the group if they want to extend the time as a uh, timekeeper to remind the group uh, make sure that there is a highly visible clock in the meeting room because time consciousness keeps people focused on problem solving methods next one group uh, ground rules have some ground rules for each meeting so that the distractions are minimized and the groups does not uh, waste time the last one idea parking lot uh, please post a separate flip chart to capture ideas that are outside the meeting uh, purpose uh, revisit the ideas at the end of the meeting and decide as a group how they should be addressed these are the idea of parking lot so next we are going to see about uh, other problem solving catalogs general problem solving and business meeting uh, fel felicitate are uh, simpler uh, disciplines and they are uh, and they share common catalogs of techniques perhaps the most widely used and uh, uh, res uh, respected catalog of uh, technique is techniques of structured problem solving by arthur van gandhi which have been published by the springer in 1988 with an isn number of 9780442288471 in thus a new techniques uh, are constantly uh, being developed and uh, beyond uh, problem solving there is a new generation of techniques based upon possibility thinking more than uh, 60 possibility thinking methods uh, have been published uh, using techniques such as the circle way the world calf open space and uh, groups are in encouraged to explore new possibilities uh, based on organizational uh, strength and rather than uh, dealing on problems and weaknesses these are the other problem solving uh, catalogs let's see the next topic uh, network administration for security professionals what actually the network administration uh, it's nothing but an admin privilege as how we are going to have our our uh, system our desktop or a laptop we are going to have our uh, admin uh, power or admin authority in our system the same way in your administration in a network an admin how the admin is going to and how securities are going to be provided for the uh, nodes which have been connected in what way this administration has to be taken care to protect the security in the professional way that is going to be elaborately discussed over here let's see one by one a network administration includes 
the entire life cycle of system uh, from hardware installation to all system changes through uh, to decommissioning uh, for a security testing many administrative operations are invoked to enable tests such as network setup amounting drives and transferring data and no need to familiar with a variety of system types and how to work across platforms to be effective the first step uh, actually uh, in the network administration are setting up the hardware and cabling and then installing operating system and configure system protections such as firewalls antivirus utilities and anti spyware tools uh, before putting the system on the network we must do this uh, system configuration protections like firewall or antivirus related softwares and to complete the building uh, or uh, the, to complete the building or rebuilding of a new system offline uh, we need to burn uh, some data cds uh, from another system uh, which download patches and applications uh, systems management controls enable uh, the user to manage users because system management control must be enabled uh, to the user to manage the other users in the network uh, just to, to provide a services or to provide any device access or device denies for that the system management uh, control should be enabled properly by the in the user by the network administrator and uh, sometimes remote administration which includes the cross platform administration is an essential capability uh, uh, for making the back end servers uh, sometimes creating or mounting and manipulating disks and files uh, giving the flexibility to move software and data and to create some customer uh, or a custom configurations to serve the organization needs sometimes we need to uh, customize some of the configurations and we have to give some flexibility for the user to create or to manipulate so that the remote administration has to uh, work with a cross platform administration and it, it has to enhance the facility and it has to enhance the security for the network administration or network uh, nodes uh, finally uh, creating a, a multi boot partitioned disks enables to consolidate security tools and applications as well as providing other benefits so what actually the multi boot partitioned disks which are the things which needs to uh, provide the security tools and the applications so it has to be uh, created and which provides the benefits for the nodes as well as the users in the network administration the last one in this video we are going to come across a virtual machine software vmware what actually vmware the virtual uh, vm uh, virtual machine software vmware is commercial virtual machine software uh, which enables to create a new uh, machine at will to use uh, for testing or uh, testing uh, or users uh, server uh, positioning or provisions uh, some common uh, vmware which includes uh, vm player uh, vmware workstations and exxi platforms uh, VMware players is a free download for running VMWares. VMware players are there freely available a open source we can download and we can use for the uh, virtual machines and uh, VMware uh, workstations and ESXi can create and uh, reconfiguring uh, new VMs and uh, both tools are available in evaluation and licensed version uh, this is a small intro about a VM software so in this video we have come across with architecture problem solving patterns and architecture problem solving types and we have come across with the enterprises workshop matrix mining other problem solving catalogs and network administration for the security professionals and finally we have ended with vmware virtual machine software so if you have any queries kindly post your queries to me yeah, thank you for watching this video. Thank you.